I saw another video. I said I'm gonna break down the video up, but I'm gonna do it because it's still a lot to show you guys. Uh, game wise, and always remember nothing is guaranteed, but always trust yourself. So again, please do email me for any game prediction. Please donate, subscribe, share, and like my video. Click on the GoFundMe icon, or every icon to donate to support my channel and also support my cause. And also click on my name to donate to support my channel. And email me for any game prediction at hyper.nixiyahoo.com. Click the join button. You can see members video there also. Please do that. And I have show you guys. Let's, yeah, let's go back to the, uh, that you have scenario one and scenario two. Yeah, you have two, three, four, six, nine, one, and two, three, four, one, six, nine. And then on the game wise, You know the white ball. If you know the white ball is not used for the uh, if you, uh, for the red ball, then you can drop the digit one. If you drop the digit one, you only have numbers without the digit one. You're gonna have to drop a lot of numbers. I dropped down one, two, three, four, five, five numbers on on the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six number on the right side. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Why? Because the one that is associated with the nine don't have ninety one. Remember, don't have ninety one. So one less number. You see that one less number. So number wise. Now, I said I would do another video, so I'm gonna do another video, and I'm gonna go and show you guys what I mean by that. All right. So number one right here. Now, we're going to go through here and and start over. So I don't have digit 0, I have digit 1 before. Now I don't have digit 1, so these two can be wiped out. Now, I'm going to look, look at digit 2. Digit 2, I'm going to do it red, 1. Since there's less number, I'm going to color uh, coordinate it. 1, 2, 3. Four, five. Five times. So it's in red. So I'm gonna put RED five times, right? Five times. I see it five times. That's a 20% chance of picking the digit two correct. Now, since you have two digit two right here, I'm gonna to have to use another. I put it too much. <laughs> Five times, and it's a twenty percent. Since there's two number that got drawn with digit two, it bumps up to forty percent of picking it correctly. One of those five numbers with digit two in it, right? Five. So each one is twenty percent. So since two got drawn, you have forty percent of picking it one correct. 40% picking one correct because 32 and 62, two out of five. Now I have to do three, three. Uh, let's do it uh, bold. So I'm gonna bold it three out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times bold, B O. Seven times, that's whopping, uh, I say 14% chance. Wow, not not good, not good. You want it to be as high as possible so you can lock number down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve numbers. I have twelve numbers only. Remember, I narrowed all the way up to twelve numbers only. You can't do that with any other system, right? You can, you can only do it with the DC system. You can do it with any other system. I'm down to 12 numbers. And if, if you can do that, be my pleasure. I've proven you how to narrow number down. No system can narrow all the number down except for the DC system. Can have a better system, go use that, use that system. Don't use this system. Think they're better than my system, which I don't think anybody has this system better than my system. Out there, this is 100%.
effective, 100% effective, effective. So now let's go to the digit four right here. Let's go to digit four. Uh, sorry about that. I have the digit four. I'm gonna go to digit four right here, and I'm gonna underline. I'm gonna uh, un underline it. One digit four. Two digit four. Three digit four right there. I only see three digit four, so I'm gonna underline you for underline. Okay. U for underline, and it appears three times only. So that's that's thirty three percent. So if I'm lock, if I want to lock any number down, I'll lock to any number with the digit four, thirty four, forty three, forty nine. Lock it down because it's thirty three percent chance. So five digit five I don't have. I have digit six and digit nine. So I'm gonna need two more rows for digit six and digit nine. So I'm gonna copy it down. Digit six and digit nine. So let's look at the digit six first. Digit six, I'm gonna italicize it. One, two, three, four, five. I italicize it. I T and have five times. So that brings a whopping 20% chance of hitting that jackpot. 20% chance of hitting that jackpot. I mean, I'll hit that, hit, hit, hitting the number six. Since six appeared three times, I have 60% of picking the number six correct. 62, 69, and 36. I have three, I have 60% chance of picking one of the digit two, digit six correct. Now, with the digit nine out there, uh, I run out of stuff, so I'm, I'm gonna leave it blank. Or I'm gonna do it purple, nine, or, or blue, blue. Let's do it blue. For 49, 69, 39, and then 29. 29, so I'm, I can't do anything. Nine appear four times. Four times. Blue. Four times, a whopping 20%. So since two, two digit nine got drawn, 49 and 69, I have forty percent of chance of hitting the digit nine out there. So, so even with twelve numbers, it's still uh, you don't have any number with hundred percent chance. But there's still a lot of combination. But at least, at least you have twelve number to to go by. You have twelve number to go by. And can I copy this down? Go back to sheet number four. You see it? So if I have to lock anything, any number down, I will have lock the number down with the 33% chance. Now I'm gonna show you pairs later. I'm gonna show you pairs later. The secret is the pairs, right? Pairs later. I'm not gonna show you a pair on these videos. You can increase the chance of a pair also. Now, I said I would lock numbers down with 33%. I have four at 32%, 34, 43, and 49. So let's say I do 49. Maybe I use every single digit one once, at least once. Let's say I do 49. I have 49 out there. And I want to lock down the, the 49 because the 49 appear more than uh, appear uh, the four appears three times in three different numbers so that's the highest percentage I can choose I can pick it correctly I'm gonna gamble and pick the 49 because uh, because I have one in three chances of picking the four correct so if you do a group play like I said you want to do 49 43 and 34 on on the three different sections three or three different groups in the group play you can hit you can guarantee to hit one of those digit four Max it out. And now I have two, three, six. Let's say I want to do the 32. I have the 32. Now I have the six left. I do not want to lock any numbers. 
Maybe I want to do a 62. Right, I'm gonna do a 62. Now I have two sections left over to put any number. That's a lot, or still a lot of numbers now. Still a lot of numbers, but at least I narrow down to 12 combination. Maybe I wanna do 66 again. Because last row was no number, the uh, the draw before that, the last row was no number, maybe it's gonna be high number, so maybe I'm gonna go back to 69. So do a 69 right here. Now you're gonna left with not much number left over. You're gonna left with 23, 26, 29, 34, 36, 39, 43, 49, and 63 out there. Now, but on the last three row, I'm gonna, I might do a 36 right here. I'm going to do 36, 23, 36, 26, 36, 29, right? And if you look at all these combinations, the winning combination should be right here. 32, 36, 49, 62, 69. So your winning combination would be right here in that jackpot over there. See, I underlined it. You don't want to add the one. If add the one, you're not going to hit the check. Now, if you don't have the one right here, that's the best thing you can do right here. No matter which digit, other digit you move around, the nine is where you lock, you block a lot of numbers down. The nine, you want the nine to be in that corner, you want to be in the middle, so you can block a lot of numbers down. So when you, I mean, you use scenario two right here, the digit four appears four times. You see it? Digit four appears four times, 34, 43, 46. Do not want to lock any of them down. Digit six appears two times, uh, five times about, six times. No one unlocked digit six down. Digit nine appear 49, 69, 39. Now the digit nine now if you use scenario two, the number you want to lock down is is uh, is the nine. Now because the nine is because you have 13 numbers versus 12 numbers, and the nine appears two times on so scenario two with the 69 and 49, instead of having 33%, you have 66% chance of picking one of the digit nine correct. You see it? So if you lock it, one, lock it down, you can keep high chance, very high chance of hitting one of those number of digit nine. So scenario two versus scenario one. The problem is scenario one has one, has one less number. Scenario two has one more number. So I think which scenario we don't want to use. I would probably prefer scenario one because just because one less number, one less combination. The less combination, the better, right? Now, in terms of the other numbers, you have. You have two, two appears one time, two times, three times, four times, 25% chance. You want to increase that chance as possible. Increase that chance as possible. Now, if you, how do you increase even more chance? Let's look at the pass draw. I'll just show you about it. Look at the pass draw. And open up the pass draw right now. Give me time, open up the pass draw.
And look, uh, I'm gonna open up the uh, Powerball game right there. And I'm gonna look at the uh, look at the Powerball, and I'm gonna show you. What did I do wrong? Uh, I'm gonna show you guys something. There we go. I'm I'm looking at numbers in the uh, in the system, and I see. And I, and I and I see and I see the the numbers in the uh, breakdown. I see uh, I, I see the number in the breakdown. I uh, and I see the number in the breakdown. I, I see numbers in the breakdown. I, I see numbers in the breakdown. Got no numbers in the past draw. Can't be touched. No number in the past draw can be touched. It can, that means any of these numbers could have been drawn. Could be drawn. So let's say sometimes you see a couple of sixty-two going wild on past draws. Let's say I'll give you an example. A couple of sixty-two going wild on past draw got drawn two or three times. Probably could be safe and block those number out. So let's say so for the, for 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 these draws for the next draw you see it now if you do if you get the right these I see sixty-two appearing two times already. So. so that means it, it starts to go wild right now. I see 62 appearing two times in the last three draws. So maybe I want to, if I see 62 on on, on the visa for Saturday's draw, I, I, if I see, I will block it out. I'll, I'll definitely block the 60 out. I will not use the 62. So I'll block it out. I will take my chance. And if I, if I block the 62 out, because it appears so many times, let's say I block the 62 out. I'm gonna block this out. So if I block this out, right? I'm gonna block this out. I only have 11 numbers, and because I block this out, the 62 instead of having four times, five times, since I block the 62 out, instead of having five times, I will have it four times. I will have four times, bring it up to 25 percent, and six to the six instead of having five times, I will have it four times. So th this will bring it to four times, and they will bring it to four times, having. 25% and 25% because the 62 got drawn too much times on the last three draws and I'll take a chance that it won't get drawn again at when the jackpot's low. So I'll block it down, bring it down to 25%. So if you like the video, Please do click the join button, see more mem members video over there, and you might meet game prediction at hyper underscore links to uh, hyper underscore links to .com. Go find me and also click on the earth icon and donate to support my channel or my cause. And donate, subscribe, share, and like my video. And also, always remember nothing is guaranteed, but always trust yourself.